We made our way to Dalat, a small town 1,500 meters above sea level. It has gorgeous little cafes, wonderful natural scenery, all kinds of locally grown fruits and vegetables, and poop. And you can actually see the poop. But it makes for good strawberries, so who cares? We arrived in Dalat at 4 a.m. after a night on a super cool sleeper bus. But we couldn't check in just yet. So we went looking for food. Is it 10,000? Moi. Moi. It means 10. Okay. Oh, ma. <laughs> <laughs> it's really early. I'm still a bit confused. Yeah. <laughs> so this is sticky rice with peanuts and more peanuts and sugar. And it's going to be my breakfast. It smells like Apam Bali. The store just left. <laughs> the store just left. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, I really just taste like Apam Bali but with rice instead of bread. You know? This is Lucifer, oh. our receptionist. Wow. Yeah, I have some. Mmm, wow! <laughs> oh, good. You should try it, you know. Mm. Yeah, you should. Damn. You should try it. <laughs> it's the best sticky ride ever, ever in my life. Lucifer just wants you to come and stay in Dalat. After breakfast, we took a morning stroll to the center of town, where the market is. So I think I spotted a fruit that I last saw in the Philippines. I'm not sure if it is the same fruit, but I'm gonna go get one now and then we'll find out. And this is what the fruit looks like on the inside. It reminds me of a persimmon. Oh, it's very sweet. But not in a cloying way. Nice to have a breakfast. Sweet. Um, not too much, not too rich. We finally got to check in. And after some well-deserved rest, we went out for lunch. So we're currently at An Cafe. Um, I think they have vegetarian options, so that's why I chose this place. Also, it looks really nice, don't you think? It's very hipster and picturesque. It's located like right at a fork. So there's two roads merging into one. And then that's where the cafe is, so you can see traffic on either side. If you're into traffic, I don't know. The seat is a swing, so you have to be careful when you sit down so that you don't fall off. For people like me who don't have very great balance, this is a challenge for your core while you eat. They kind of have a whole vegetarian menu actually. See? So, it's very easy to find vegetarian food in Dalat and Ho Chi Minh City actually. If you are ever stuck somewhere without halal food, I got it some pasta with cream sauce and mushrooms and I'm pretty excited about it because we saw some mushrooms at the market earlier and they looked really fresh like I've never seen such fresh mushrooms but look at that look at that cream sauce and the mushrooms oh I think got cheese Mushroom is very fresh. There's a peppery flavor. Pepper. <laughs> and then there's some oh there's some coriander flavor because of the coriander here. But I guess you can ask them to take it out if you don't want any coriander. Because I know there's a whole Facebook group of people dedicated to how much they hate coriander. Um yeah it's good, it's fresh and cheesy and creamy. I'm not usually a fan of cream pastas. But this is real cream and not like the fake flour fish cream that we normally get in Singapore. Mm. Good, 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 good. So Joeen got dried coffee berries tea, which is tea made with dried coffee berries. So I don't know why that's not coffee. I guess it's because it hasn't been roasted and all that. I just taste lime. Ooh. Ooh. 
It's very sweet. Mostly it tastes of lime. I can't really taste much else. Sweet and a bit earthy. Not much coffee flavor. It's very sad because I actually really want to taste what the coffee berries taste like. But it tastes like lime. Might as well order lemon tea. Wonderful. Rest milk. What? <laughs> <laughs> we have to dance like him. 